This is a preview of the Hazy monsters in Cosmo Blazer. Mind you, Hazy was originally Haze, so if you're confused by why I'm saying Hazy, I'm also rather confused why I'm saying Hazy instead of Haze. It seems kind of like a weird thing to have changed, but whatever. So, Hazy Monsters. This is another fire-based monster, which is why the new fire-based structure deck is looking much more appealing lately, and why there's so much fire support in the current set. Um, again, I'm only going to look at the hazy creatures and spells, and I'm going to leave everything fire-based to its own, you know, its own judgment. Uh, anything that is fire support that doesn't specifically denote hazy, um, I'm not going to talk about it in this. So, hazy monsters and spells, what do they do? Well, all of the hazy monsters are level 6. All of them. And only one... Yes, only one can be brought out by itself without any sort of special summoning or tributes um, at a decrease of its attack. So what is the theme with these hazy monsters? Well, aside from being level 6, uh, they all have some sort of effect that prevents them from being targeted by your opponent's card effect, which is a really good effect for things to have. Avoid targeting? Alright, that avoids things like compulses, that avoids things like uh, D presence and such, so, that, you know, that's good, that's good. Uh, and they all have their own individual effects, some are a lot more fun than others, uh, but aside from that, they're just fire monsters that are uh, level 6, not many of them have dramatic attack or defense, they have pretty base, base stats, uh, so what's the point of uh, well, aside from not being targeted and being fire monsters, uh, their spell and their trap, both continuous, do read into what you're supposed to do with them. Uh, both the spell and the trap have an effect that while they're on the field, you can normal summon hazy monsters with one less tribute. So what that means is all these level 6s can be normal summoned like a rank, like a level 4. Uh, so they're, they're built... They're built to specifically work with their spell and traps. That's first thing to note. So they rely on their spell and trap in order to work effectively. What the trap does is that if you sack it, you can target one hazy card in your graveyard that isn't that trap and add it to your hand. All right. Uh, the spell. The spell is actually kind of cool because aside from the you know getting to summon um, once per turn, you can also take a hazy monster from a hand or field and attach it to an Xyz as an Xyz material once per turn. So it allows you to load up an Xyz. Alright, that seems kind of cool, but why they have that in there? Well, that's because of the rank 6 hazy Xyz monster who really is kind of the end game of the hazy monsters right now and it's a pretty good end game um, it needs at least at least two level six monsters it also says denote a max of five so you can use up to five hazy monsters to exceed some in this creature so what what do you get for this well you can detach materials from your hazy Xyz to banish creatures uh, from the grave uh, or the field. In addition, for the number of Xyz monster materials, the number of Xyz material monsters bleh, that are underneath this creature, it gets additional effects. At three or more, it gains an attack boost of 200 attack and defense for each one that's underneath it. So, if you get up to the max of 5, that's, an, that's a 1,000 boost, so it becomes a 3,500. When you have 4 or more underneath it, then it cannot be targeted by your opponent's card effects. When it gets to the max of 5, it cannot be destroyed by card effects. So if you actually get that max of 5, you have a 3,500 that cannot be targeted or destroyed by your opponent's card effects. That is really cool. That is a difficult thing to get off the field if you actually get it to that level. Because it can't be targeted, and you can't destroy it. So you can't dark hole it, 
You can't torrential it. You can't compulse it. You need something global that doesn't destroy. Or you need something that does not technically target. Uh, or you need something larger. Uh, there aren't too many decks that can really easily deal with that uh, when it's out there. Uh, there aren't too many creatures that are that big or can easily get that large. Uh, so it's it's a really good boss monster to have out, and that's why you have the spell to load it up. Um, and allows you to use its effect and then load it back up with something. So it's, it's a really good endgame. I don't know if the deck is going to be really good in the end. I don't know if it's going to, you know, rank up there. Uh, but it's going to have to get some more fire support from the other cards in the set and the structure in order to be more viable. Uh, but with all the support that's out there, I can see that happening very easily. Uh, so what do you guys think of the hazy monsters? Are you going to try it out? Are you going to use it? it? It's a little more unique as far as a deck type. There's never really been an archetype that was only level 6. Uh, you had monarchs, which are level 5, but monarchs were never really an archetype. Monarchs were always kind of like, hey, we're one tributes for an effect, and we're, you know, kind of the Power Rangers. Go us. And people use them sparingly, but this is this is an actual archetype that focuses on creatures being level 6 and getting those level 6s out really easily. So what do you think? Uh, next time I'll probably start talking about the Noble Knights and how they're actually playable now.